Peace, 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 man. This your boy Rashawn Look at this Space Invaders TV, man. Welcome y'all all. Um, hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's keeping their head above the water. Um, and um, I just say peace and blessings to all y'all. Make sure y'all stay tapped in. Make sure y'all hit the notification bell. So every time that I post a video, y'all get it. Y'all know. You go to your email. Yeah, you know. Your boy post something. Yeah. So yeah, man. Um, today this is uh September the seventh, Sunday, September the seventh, twenty twenty. I wanna just talk about a couple of things here, man. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna talk about um the Corona virus right now. Like, where we at with that? I mean, you know, my thoughts on that. You know, what I mean, this situation thus far. You know, I spoke on it early on. As you look at some of the older videos, and I also want to talk about this unemployment. Um, you know, um extension with this unemployment and um, what some of these states have to do to get that money and where's that money coming from so right now my question man right now I don't know I'm a, I may be the only one with this question but you got the state still opening up slowly around the country and my thing is you know we keep hearing about the spike in the cases and uh, the spike in the deaths for the COVID but my thing is I'm trying to figure out what is the number we're trying to get below? You feel me? For each state, because each state, we all know, you have uh, different. You have um, your residents. Your residencies is 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 different. You know, like the state I'm in right now in NC is ten over uh, ten point five million residents in the entire state, right? So, um, you know. The case, your your the cases they might the, the number of they might want to get below, uh, a number of COVID cases they might want to get below, or might be will be cheaper than what will be not cheaper excuse me will be lower than with someone like New York, where, you know what I mean um, they have more people, there you know what I'm saying um, invite and, and so forth and so forth you know um. With, with some with 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 the number what Mississippi may be looking for, maybe lower what than what they're looking for in Idaho. You know what I'm saying? So like, where is the number we trying to get below? You know what I mean? Um, because it's just becoming to be um, crazy where they keep talking about oh the spike, the spike, the spike, and this and that, and this and that. We have to move forward. This is a business. So this country is a business. We have to move forward. You can't continue to keep keep stagnant and keep playing this game and keep pumping this fear, you know, where we even have when the schools, whereas, you know, around the country, you know, you know, some schools are opened up already, you know, in August schools opened up, you know, around the country of, we you know, in the southeast of the country, in the south, southeast, the, the schools open up early. They go back in August. Um some a little earlier um and um soon as we start hearing that you start hearing about soon as they knew it again close to that you start hearing them more spiking the cases with with children now now they say oh yeah the children again they're like wait a minute i thought before you said the children can't children can't get it or the children could be uh like well what are you talking about now you're also said in the summertime that the heat the virus won't live on the heat you blah 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 summertime boom the cases seem to go up around the country. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, what are you, what are you guys trying to do? Um, so you had a remote learning going on. That's that's a good thing. I know for some, for a lot, for a lot of us parents, you know, is is a headache. You know what I mean too, because you know that whole system and dealing with that, you know, is a, is a headache. You know, system could be crashing and all of that nature. So you know, but. They said it's saying safe. But my whole thing is, you know, if they, they got funding for schools and all of that for this coronavirus, the states got aid, you know, for that. Why haven't they put systems and places in these schools? Schools been out for, for, for months. They have ample amount of time to do, make adjustments and get different things in place, you know. Um, just like here, they pushed school back. They pushed it. They're supposed to go back on the 17th of August. So then they said, oh, no, they pushed it up. Said, oh, no, we're going to wait nine weeks, you know, um, until October. So I say, 
Well, you guys had since February, the end of February, so you just went the fuck home and sat on your damn hands, and y'all didn't come up with anything. The superintendent of this county that I'm in is, boy, goofballs. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, but moving on, then you had colleges and stuff that coming back. They came back, and then mind you, some colleges have, and some already, some of you already know, some of your kids are doing remote learning. They still, you know, I mean, they they can do their classes online. You know, it's they have the option. You know, what I mean, um, some at least anyway. But then you start having a spike in when the colleges started back. You start having a spike, and it's like, dude. What do y'all, like, you know, y'all can't, like, y'all can't say, y'all can't do this when, when something happens, the school starts back, and then next week you're talking about the spike in these cases, you know what I'm saying? How? When it takes, when you said it takes two weeks or whatever for you to find, how is when school start back until the next week, we already, like, they started back this week, next week you're talking about, oh, yeah, they got a spike, you're like, wait a minute, you know what I'm saying? Come on now, you got to stop. Any type of event, they want to start talking about, oh, the spike in cases. Like, come on, man. You know, I don't think if people go into events, uh, rallies or anything of that nature, that they're all going to just go to the damn hospital and every, like, the next day. Like, so everybody's going to feel sick the next fucking, like, after they went to this rally. Come on, man. Like, we, we got to stop, man. We got to stop, man. Yeah, we know some people out there doing stuff. They're not putting on a mask and all of that. But my whole thing at the end of the day is I'm not ignorant to the fact that if you watch any of my videos, you know. I just deal with common sense. And my thing is at the end of the day, if we saying this thing is as, as, as deadly as it is, I don't think a freaking mask, the way you guys are projecting this thing, and you guys have been with this thing, when I say guys, I mean media, I don't think a fucking mask is going to stop this shit. That's just my that's just my thoughts. And y'all and y'all gotta know the fucking truth too. So that's why early on with this whole virus thing I kept I was telling people early on in my earlier videos when I told people, hey man, cleanse your body. I ain't no doctor, but I just use common sense. Cleanse your body. Um, um take eat right, watch what you eat and um take your vitamin take vitamins, look into good vitamins. You know what I'm saying? Supplements to take, man. Because, you know, when a virus, we all know that, you know what I mean? It's, um, it's, 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 it's a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, y'all? It's a, <clears throat> a virus is, uh, it's the germ. So you have to clean it. You have to get it and clean it. Get it, cleanse your body. <clears throat> so if you've been going along and, you know, like, you know, and I know some people may forget to even do that to themselves. Like, like, hey, man, like, it's, all right, especially now, like, okay, like, over the summer, whatever, whatever. So when the winter comes in, I'll make sure I'll cleanse my body out. You know what I'm saying? You're going into a whole new season. Um, this is when you catch colds and everything. So I'll cleanse my body out. You know what I'm saying? Make sure I get my immune system strong. And take and, and make sure I capitalize with that by taking vitamins and everything like that, man. And get my body ready for that change there. You know what I mean? It's just like doing a fucking oil change on a car. You know what I mean? Like you changing, cleansing out your body, clean all of that, flush all of that that matter or whatever out. Cleanse your body, man. That's 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 that's, that's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? And um but you have these people that keep pumping this fear. And it's like, everybody, if you're trying to get out, everybody's in this, everybody's in the same hole right now. You know what I'm saying? And it's, 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 you know, they're in this dirt hole and everybody, you got people that's trying to climb to the top. You know what I mean? But then you got people that just, that's down there, just keep digging a hole deeper. And if you keep digging this hole, then everybody's going to keep dropping down. And then it starts raining. Now it makes it wet. Now everybody's falling back down and getting stuck into this hole. But people are screaming. They want to get out. But nobody's, you, you know, you, you get where I'm going with this? Like, so if you keep on adding on to this thing and like, I don't know where's the end result to this thing. You know what I mean? Like, 
it's been going on for a long time. We need some understanding. And people are not stupid. You have to tell people, hey, this is what's, this is our state. We have this amount of people in our state. We're trying to get below this number. Then I think you was I then I think and I believe these states will see some progress. If that's if they if they really want to see progress, because the longer you 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 keep your state shut down, the worse it's gonna get as well too. Okay, you're gonna lose more jobs. It's gonna be more people on unemployment. More companies are gonna be shutting down. You know what I'm saying? If they're not seeing no money, um. You only it's only gonna get worse anyway. Um, any companies that 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 you know this year is over. We got over ninety days left for this year. Think about that. October, November, December. We got a little over ninety days left. Yeah, like a little, over ninety days left for this year. You know what I'm saying? Hey man. If your state got the funds, go ahead and allocate them. If you're not trying to do what the federal government is asking to do when it comes to this FEMA situation, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you're not trying to sign that and, and, and do this share, um, share amount, you know what I'm saying? Like the federal government is asking you to pay, put in a certain amount of money. If you're not trying to do it, then, then go ahead and tap into your state funds. You know what I'm saying? Tap into your state funds just alone, just like the state I'm in, North Carolina. The governor didn't want to sign off and get, you know, because the government is getting the funds from FEMA. They're taking the, the $44 billion from FEMA. They're taking it um, and putting it, they, they're taking 25 of that, $25 billion of that money, and they're allocating it for unemployment. But the thing is, states have to shit put in on that. They not they're not just gonna give up that money. They like, all right, y'all gotta give up something. You know, y'all gotta put in something. Y'all gotta pretty much give us something back. And that's what been a hold up. These states been so used to taking from the federal government that now when they asking them this, that's the hold up. Now they're like, wait a minute. But they're not trying to give up. They're not trying to give nothing to their fucking. They're not trying to take from their surpluses or from 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 their um reserves uh and just go ahead and help their people they're not trying to do that either but they don't want to get the federal government nothing neither they don't want to do those guidelines you got to give up something to get some they always want to keep getting shit and don't want to put put in you know what i mean and that's the whole thing right now we've been noticing states and everything um, they've been sitting on their hands waiting for the federal government to do something. Meanwhile, every state has some surplus. Some states smaller than others, so therefore they may not have that much money. But we got to look at the states that do. Take care of your people, man, because it's just going to get worse. You only have a little over, you have like nine, over 90 days, um, 90 something days left in this year. You know what I'm saying? It's only going to get worse. Just go ahead and give, give up, with, give up, figure out a plan and give up. What you could give to the people that's unemployed in your state, man. That people ain't asked for this. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody seen this shit coming like that. You know what I mean? So people with taxpayer citizens, give up the freaking money. Give up what you can give up. Come up with the plan and just get to it, man. Everybody keeps playing this political game. Like this political game. Meanwhile, people are hurting out here. And you can't keep blaming the gun. The gov like I said early on, the government handles country. The federal executive government handles country business. These states handle their state business. Their governors handle the state business. Handle your state business. If your state is hurting, handle your state business. Plain and simple. You got places like North Carolina here. Uh, unemployment rate 8.5%. That's from the Bureau of, uh, of Labor Statistics. You can go on there and look up the, the rate for your state as well. I think the highest state right now is Massachusetts at 16.1%. Yeah, 16.1% Massachusetts. You know what I mean? Um, uh, so, yeah. But you can go up there. You can compare the years and everything. Of what, like last year to this year, this time, what your state was doing, where their numbers were at as far as unemployment goes. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on, man. And um, yeah, 
they, that's all they need to do. Um, but you got these, you got these governors. They sitting there. They, um, they want to play this political game, you know. Well, if you don't want to do what the government, what the federal government wants you to do, then then freaking just tap into your own reserves and and, and give up something for your people. Plain and simple. I mean, I I don't I don't understand what's wrong. You got somebody in North Carolina got three point nine billion in in reserves, unemployment reserves. They got um they got another one point one million sitting. Uh, let me go here. You got places like North Carolina. They got another one point one billion in savings reserves, seventy four million in disaster relief fund. They got 186 million in Medicaid contingency reserves. You have money everywhere. Meanwhile, the governor sitting here when the president said, "Okay, yeah, we'll give you the money. You just got to do this and do that." He says, "Oh, well, they didn't even take up. Uh, I, I wanted, uh, you know, money for the teachers. You know, to give them raises. You got money to give the teachers raises. Give it to them. <laughs> you got 1.1 billion in savings reserves." You got seventy-four million in disaster relief funds. You got one hundred and eighty-six million Medicaid. And first of all, you, the governor of Carolina, Roy Cooper, you're full of shit. You should have been gay to teachers' raises when they were sitting there protesting and marching and shit. You should have gave them. You should have gave them more money then. You could have gave them more money. You know what I'm saying? You got the money sitting here. Give it to the people, bro. You know what I'm saying? But everybody playing this game. They don't want to dig into their pockets where they got it. Got they got the money half of it for, because of the residents of the state, you know what I'm saying? And then don't want to then don't want to give give up nothing, you know what I mean? But then they don't want the president to tell them nothing. But you want to get the money from the motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? But you don't want him to you, you, you don't want him to tell you nothing. He can't tell you about your state, but you don't want to put dig in your state funding. But you want them to get just give you something. Well. The residents of these states, we can't just get nothing from y'all, obviously. So, why you think the federal government should just give you governors money without asking for something? They like, hey, we dipping into this FEMA account. So, hey, listen, the director of FEMA, he like, dig, look, um, y'all gonna have to start putting in. These states gonna have to start putting in. Y'all be holding on to y'all money and y'all be getting these funds. Yeah, y'all got money y'all could tap into. We know y'all got some money. Y'all don't ever tap into your funds. Listen, you, you're going to have to pay in like a copay. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what's going on. They're like, hey, you want to get this money, you're going to have to pay a type copay. And you need to be matching some, not, you know, you need to, you need to up your and put in so these people, so this can kind of make a little sense. And the thing is, people are like, oh, yeah. the thing is this, man, they're not... The federal government ain't going to give you that. Where it could come from is the state that you're in. You know what I'm saying? And it's obvious. You know what I mean? These, these, these states, in these times, you look around, and we got to see, like, hey, how many states, everybody kept talking about this damn essential worker. I'm a, I'm a essential, I'm classified as a essential worker myself, too. Uh, Why these states haven't implemented, why these states haven't pushed out money to the, to the, to the essential workers? Meanwhile, the counties were left, you know, but the state should have mandated that these counties should be, the counties, these states should mandate that their counties around their states should be taking care of their essential workers in their counties. Because they all got funded. Most of these states got funded from the federal government for this COVID-19. Ever since when this kicked off, if you look at my older videos when I talk about hazardous pay back then, when a president said that he was going to give up money once this COVID took place, took president, he said he was going to give up money to the states, right? To help out in the relief and the aid of this COVID-19. As soon as he said that, you had states, everybody start vying for this money. Everybody, I, I start noticing that. I, it was only one case here in North Carolina in the whole damn state, right? It was a guy that came from Seattle somewhere did to Raleigh and went to a few businesses and whatever, whatever, right? They wasn't making so much of a big deal about it. I've actually never even heard nothing about that guy two weeks after the situation, right? They said he was quarantining in his house, mind you that. He boarded on a plane from Seattle back here, you know what I'm saying? And went to a restaurant, infected, blah, 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 right? That's how it kicked off, right? 
So then from that, after that, um, when, the, when the president said he was going to allocate funds, this, that, and the third, next thing you know, it rose up to like 700 and something cases, right? Within within a week, within two weeks, right? The next thing you know, it next thing you know, it rose up to like in two weeks after that, it rose up. It was like up in the thousands, like three thousand cases, two thousand, twenty five hundred cases, or something like that. And I said, "Damn, how did that happen so fast?" But what it was, I what I peeped, I knew, and I had called it. I said, "The president said, okay, these states be trying to get money." And they're gonna start. They're gonna start vying for that. And the way they feel like they're gonna be getting more funding for whatever is from these programs. And you figure the money that these states got from the federal government during this COVID time, right? They they could have they could have easily done a lot. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's just it's just amazing to me, man. But you pay attention to what's going on. And you actually see what these governors, and you actually see what some of them really, really care about. A lot of these people got their own agendas in mind, man, and they playing these political games. And um, and, and it's like, oh, if they don't do what I want them to do, then I don't. If they ain't gonna give me what I want for what I need it for, then I ain't gonna. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, they're not keeping the people, and and, and they and, and they're not putting the people really first. I mean, even you have the governor of North Carolina here, you know, he said, the funny thing is, he said, oh, because of the spike in cases, right? Oh, the bar, once he said the bars and the restaurants can open back up, uh, like a couple weeks later, he said, oh, there's a spike in cases, so we're going to have to shut, you know, there won't be no alcohol sale after 11 p.m. But you have fucking ABC stores here, and the ABC store is the same thing as like a liquor store, you know what I'm saying? Same thing as that, and here they have that in the south, you know, they'll have that, <clears throat> you know, um, an ABC store is the same thing as a liquor store. You didn't shut the ABC store down during the whole pandemic in the state of North Carolina, the ABC stores were open. You know, you never, you never shut them down. You never, you never, you never cut the hours of sales on that. So it was a, so how do you practice social distancing in a fucking, in a fucking ABC store, a liquor store? You practice social distancing in there, right? So then a motherfucker go in there and knock down a fifth in the parking lot and then go drive down the fucking road and bang into a, a fucking brick wall and hit somebody and shit and all that, right? That that that's 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 okay because the state's getting that money. But your small businesses or your you know you or the other your businesses you 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 fuck them over and tell them, okay now because of spike in cases so the alcohol made the spike in cases. Bro, we want to move forward or what? How long is it going to take? Like, <clears throat> you're going to have to move forward. You can't keep your state shut down. I doubt if you go into doing this same shit next year. I doubt it. But yo, man, um, this your boy Rashawn, man. I'm just on my rant, man. And, you know, I'm just tired of the whole situation. Now, at this point, I'm like, yo, let's just stop. We need to move forward. Tell the people what it is that they need to do. Like, what number are you trying to get below? Because you keep saying the spike in the cases. You keep saying, but we need to know what number you're trying to get to. States are slowly opening up. You need you, you need to go ahead and open up or just say fucking and shut down for the rest of the year. <clears throat> because it's already, you only got a little, little, you know, 90, 90 plus days left in this year. You, you, I mean, what are you going to do? You either need to shut the, stay shut the fuck down and then just go into your surpluses and your reserves and your stash and pay your people that's unemployed, man. Just go ahead and do it. <laughs> you already lost the year. Go ahead, go ahead and do it. That's, that's all I say. You know what I mean? Because ain't nothing going, ain't nothing going to spike up towards the end of this year. Uh, ain't ain't too many people going to be thinking about spending for Christmas like that. And if they ain't been working, you know what I'm saying? And Thanksgiving and all of those things, it's going to be a little tight for certain people, man, who don't get public assistance. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be, it's going to be a little crazy for them, man. It's going to be crazy, not a little. You feel me? So it's like, hey, man, you might as well go ahead and assist those ones who've been out of work. You know, take care of the people, man. Take care of your, This is the time to take care of your states. Step up, governors, and take care of your states. You know what I mean? And get off your hands and stop worrying about what the 
gov what the federal government is going to do and what they're not going to do or they're not doing it how you want them to do it. I mean, you got to answer to somebody too. You know, ain't they above you? Right? Take charge and handle your states, man. This is the time when you got to make those decisions, those tough decisions. This is the time where all that money that you've been stacking up for years, go dip in it. What are we saving it for? So you could go put it somewhere else where you want to put it? Now the people need it. The people need you in your states. Step up and help the people, man. That's what this is all about. I just ran down numbers from just this state alone. In states that probably got bigger reserves. All you people have to do is go tap into whatever you state you're in. If it's Georgia, Tennessee, whatever, Mississippi, wherever you at, tap in, punch your state in, your, uh, your state, the state of Georgia, reserves, unemployment reserves, whatever. Tap that in, punch it in, it'll come up. You know what I'm saying? And then you'll see. But yeah, um, that's where I'm at with this whole thing, man. Is it's just man, they have to, they need to stop trying to pump this fear in the people, and um, and, and and let's come to some type of understanding of what number it is. You're trying to get below what 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 governors tell the us residents of your states. What number are you trying to get below? You know. If you want the residents to, conf to to understand what's going on and you think they're not taking it serious enough, then you need to explain to them more in depth what it is that you're looking for. You can't keep everything a fucking secret. Okay, the thing is out here now. ain't no secret. People lost jobs and everything. People are trying to keep their head above the water and trying to think logic and trying to think and trying to stay sane and everything. But meanwhile, y'all keep playing this political game out here. You know? You gotta get your heads out of the fucking dirt, man. And come up here and look and see what's really going on out here, man. You know? Shit is real out here. And people and people are hurting and it's just gonna get worse. And any business that was holding on <clears throat> that got any money from the small business loan or whatever, Okay, they're holding on. Then there was there was there were those who couldn't even hold on no more. They were already hanging on by by one hand, by the tips of their fingers. They slid off and fell. They couldn't hold on and wait. Y'all ran out of the money one time, and then they, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then some of the money that I was that just just this state alone. I can't talk about every state, but you know the counties, the states. Man, the money that they was giving out to these small businesses, how the hell are they going to sustain, man, with that? You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just logic shit, man. It's just like, come on, man. You know, come on, man. You know, when you see things like this here, you know, when the state had $186 million in Medicaid contingency reserves, $74 million in disaster relief funds, $1.1 billion in savings reserve, they could have tapped into so many places. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a pandemic. What you holding on to it for? Give up something. You got to pay somebody instead of keep paying yourselves. That's all I'm saying to these governors and states, man. Yeah, you know, y'all got to step up, man. For real. <clears throat> the light's on y'all too, man. And people got to start paying attention to their local government. This is when, this is, this, this, this you pay attention to your local government, you see what's going on, man. You see the plays they they, they sitting back on their hands. They not even they not they not even, you know what I mean? What are the plans that they're actually coming up with besides keeping the state shut down and opening it up slowly? Man, I'm done. Hey, it's your boy Rashawn Looker. This is Space Invaders TV, man. I'm off my rant right now. Um, I hope I wasn't too much all over the place, but these are just things on my mind and I had to get them off, man, because I know I ain't the only one, you know, thinking about these things. If you want to know the statistics on the unemployment rate for your state, go to the Bureau of Labor of Statistics, um, <clears throat> check out the uh, memorandum. If you want to see, like, how is it really, what, what the president had put in place, this memorandum, what is about as far as um, related to this coronavirus and how they paying out the unemployment funds, go to the White House. Dot gov.
presidential access slash memorandum. And then you can see, you know what I'm saying, the memorandum or whatever, what they got going on for this corona relief um, virus, man. Yo, that's your boy, Rashawn Looker. I'm out.